Uh, welcome to uh, Arthur Brown Photography. Uh, it's getting to the time of year here in the UK uh, when autumn is coming and uh, it's a season when we start to get uh, get some nice fungi uh, growing uh, in the English countryside. I was out for my um, my walk with the uh, with the dogs earlier today uh, and close by to where I live I came across uh, some some nice uh, fungus uh, just growing by the side of um, a pond. Uh, so I'm going to go back uh, today now and uh, do some photographs. Um, and uh, I'm going to be uh, using uh, my Canon 5D Mark II body. Uh, but as I want to do some fairly close-up uh, photographs uh, of the fungi, uh, I'm going to use um, a couple of macro lenses. Um, firstly, I'm going to give a try with the... Um, uh, the Sigma uh, 105 f2.8 uh, macro um, and then I also have uh, another macro lens uh, which is the um, the Voigtlander um, and that is a um, 90 millimeter f3.5 uh, lens uh, and it has a, a Voigtlander close-up attachment uh, element that goes onto the front of it as well. Uh, on both of these lenses I have um, adapter rings uh, for the macro flash unit. Now I'll use the macro flash unit to get uh, to get uh, uh, nice lighting but also to enable me to use um, quite a small aperture to get good depth of field in the photograph. Um, with a small subject it's uh, it's important to uh, to try and get it in focus from front to back uh, and getting uh, good depth of field uh, means having to use a, a small um, aperture on the lens which needs a good bit of light more light than uh, your normal daylight will be able to provide uh, and I have the um, the macro ring flash this is a young Nuo macro ring flash which fits to the front of the lens and provides a nice even illumination uh, to the subject without uh, harsh shadows and things right let's go out and take some photographs So I went out with the new camera and the camera and uh, spotted these uh, fungi known as uh, uh, the common fly agaric. And I had to get my trusty assistant to uh, cut back some of the, uh, the grass and other foliage around us to get me uh, a decent clear shot of uh, some of these uh, wonderful fungi. Now this, this uh, fly agaric is uh, definitely not uh, an edible fungus. Uh, it is quite poisonous uh, and it's thought to have uh, psychoactive properties. It would appear from the state of some of these examples though that uh, some of the local wildlife seems to be uh, uh, munching through these uh, toadstools. So I'm not sure how they feel in the morning. This kind of macro photography does involve uh, you know, getting down and dirty and getting flat on the ground. Uh, luckily it was a fairly dry day, but I still ended up with, uh, with muddy clothes. Uh, but uh, it's the only way I can get down and get a decent uh, angle on something that is uh, so close to the ground. Right, let's uh, pull one of these up in, uh, in Photoshop uh, and see what we can do with it. Well, first of all, I'll open it up in, uh, in, in Bridge uh, and have a look. I think this looks like a good example, so I'll click on that and it'll open up in the, um, the camera raw page of uh, Photoshop. All right, there's the raw image. So first of all, I'm going to give it a bit of contrast. Drop the highlights a bit. Uh, probably raise the shadows, no, drop them, bring them out again a bit, a bit of clarity. Why not? I'm going to bring a bit more contrast into it I think. Let's drop the exposure a little bit. And bring up the vibrance because it's quite a colourful um, example this isn't it. So, yeah, I might even raise the saturation very slightly just to bring out the red. Uh, there we go. That looks pretty good now. So I'm going to click that and uh, open it up. 
in Photoshop. Right, pretty happy with that. Of the uh, the two lens uh, lenses I've been using today, this is the, probably the the uh, the best uh, for for uh, macro work, uh, but also the most interesting. Uh, it's quite unusual. It's a um, a Voigtlander Apo Lanthar ninety millimeter f three point five SL, uh, and this was an SL two, so presumably at some time in the past there must have been an an SL one. Uh, it, it's it's a um, a lens that uh, is no longer in production, unfortunately. Um, I, I managed to get this actually a few years ago, uh, and I've since spoken to the uh, Voigtlander um, people at uh, at the photo show, and they said they're no longer making it. And I, I did express my concern because it's actually probably uh, the sharpest lens. Uh, I've got in my collection. That's actually probably even better than the the the, the one Zeiss lens that I've got. Ninety millimeters is is pretty good uh, length for uh, street photography and and portraiture, uh, and and so this is extremely sharp as well. Interesting, it comes with a rather strange little lens hood that re reduces the size of the front aperture, but obviously because it's uh, Slight telephoto, it doesn't it doesn't uh, vignette, and the inner thread on this has a um, an adapter which takes a a matching Voigtlander close up lens. Now this actually comes with the um, comes with a lens, uh, and then I've got an adapter then to be able to to put on the ring. Uh, for the ring flash to go on, but this this uh, even with a close-up lens pr provides an extremely sharp close-up image. For um, for everyday use, I did actually buy a um, a Leica type um, uh, lens hood for it, so uh, so I can put a UV filter on and then have this uh, this lens hood. If I'm just doing it using it for um, uh, for normal photography work rather than uh, than close up. Right, I'm going to finish off now uh, with a few more examples of uh, photographs we uh, we took today. Of these wonderful fungi. Uh, these first ones here were taken uh, with the Voigtlander 90 mm uh, f3.5, all taken at 1/200th f22 ISO 100. Uh, this And then, as we go on to the uh, the last two shots here, uh, we're taking with the the Sigma 105 uh, f2.8 macro lens at the same uh, speed. Uh, well, if you enjoyed this, please remember to like, to comment, and to subscribe. Uh, bye for now from Arthur Brown Photography. Mm -hmm.